Hi, I'm Davina, and this is my assistant, Joaquin. And today, I will show you a lab on chemical kinetics, and we will be determining the rate law for a chemical reaction. So you'll start by taking seven milliliters of the brilliant blue solution using your pipette pump, and you basically scroll the side up here to collect it. And using a pipette that's nine milliliters, you scroll up to the three to get seven mils. And you put that in here when you're finished. Then you dilute this in your volumetric flask to the 50 milliliter mark. And when you're finished, it will look like this. And you do the same thing we just did with two milliliters of your bleach solution. And you'll end up with two working solutions. For the second part of this lab, you'll start working with a spectrophotometer. And you'll need to auto zero the machine. So you'll put in two cuvettes filled with distilled water. And you want to make sure that the clear side is facing this way so the machine can read through it. So it should be facing this direction. Close the machine and click on Spectrum Measurement. When that pops up, click on Measurement at the very top and Auto Zero. Once you make sure your machine is auto-zeroed, you would open your machine again, take one of the distilled water cubes out in the front, and you put your solution of five milliliters of the Brilliant Blue Working Solution plus the five mils of distilled water. And when you put that in the machine facing the proper direction, you simply hit start. Once it's finished measuring, this window pops up with a graph and you go find your peak of your graph, and you just click on that region. So you click where it looks highest, which is around here, and you can either use your arrows or just go forward and backwards to find your highest absorbance, which in this case is right here, 0 0.65706, and that happens to be at the analytical wavelength of 629 nanometers. When you do this run again with your four milliliters of brilliant blue and six of distilled water, you run another graph, and your wavelengths should be very close. Either pick a wavelength when they're close or just average your wavelengths and use that as your analytical wavelength for the math. For the kinetic data collection, you'll be using time course measurement. So you click on time course measurement for the machine and then you want to set it to the analytical wavelength you found. In our case, that was 629 nanometers. So you go to measurement, parameters, and then you enter that right here, which I've already done. So the wavelength should be your analytical wavelength. Again, in our case, 629. And you just hit OK, and you're ready to measure your next part. Our machine is already prepared, but before having done so, you should have 10 milliliters of your blue working solution and 10 mils of your bleach working solution ready to go. Now that that's ready and your machine's ready, you're going to use a pipette with a bulb on the top. You secure the bulb on the top so that you can collect your liquid, and you quickly take some of each blue and bleach and mix them in your cubet so you can use time course measurement to get your graph. So our assistant will do that for us now. And you have to work quickly so that it, the bleach doesn't completely dissolve all the color. So you work really fast to fill your cubet and put it in the machine. Again, make sure it's facing the proper direction. While he's doing that, you know that you have your machine set to the appropriate wavelength. And once you place it in the machine, you quickly close the lid and click start. While this was running, you should have been measuring uh, every five seconds until you hit the 30 second mark. And then from there, every 30 seconds until you hit 10 minutes or 600 seconds. So you should have been measuring the absorbance at every point in the time scale I just mentioned. If you missed any points or just choose to do it at the end, you can look at the window that comes up when it's finished running and just click at every point you need to see and just run through it. The points are all down here and you can see your numbers, your absorbance levels at any point. 
For the second trial of this section, you're going to use 10 mils of your brilliant blue and then 5 of your bleach diluted to 10 mils. So it's 10 mils of brilliant blue and then 5 bleach plus 5 DI water. And then you just put that cubit where you mix again quickly because the bleach will take care of the blue dye and that'll just go away. So you have to do work really fast there. Put that in and run through the exact same way, take the same points, and you'll end up with two sets of data points. You'll now have two sets of data points of your time in seconds versus your absorbance or now concentration. And you're going to do three graphs for each set, so you'll have a total of six graphs. You're going to do your time in seconds versus your concentration, time versus LN of concentration, and time versus one over your concentration. That will result in three different graphs times two is six. So once you have those graphs, you're going to have three like this. And the one that results in the most straight line, in this case graph 2, will give you the order of your reaction. And then you go from there to finish your post lab and use your values to complete all the math. All your waste should be collected and poured into the halogenated waste container. And after this video, you can count on an A on that lab report. Good luck!